How is work today? Fine. I've just been having a little bit of a rough time. Well, good. I don't want you ever to forget me. I want the memory of my death to be seared into your mind like a brand. Can't you just stop it? Can't you just leave me alone? No! Why do you think I'm still hanging around here? I'm going to make you suffer, Victor. <laughs> Oh, you can't stop thinking about her, man. But it's bad for your health. Can't just barge in here and invite no one. Yeah, no, I just thought you might need some reassurance, though. Thought I'd pop in and see what's up. I don't know what's going on much at all anymore. Ever since she died. Oh, well, she seems to be more attached now than she ever was when she was alive. <laughs> oh, man. I think you should get that, dude. It's probably your sister. I'm not ready to talk to her yet. Sure you are. Just go down there and tell her what it is. I'll be rooting for you, bro. Yeah, I guess so. Victor, it's been three days and you haven't said a single word to me. What in God's name have you been doing? I don't know. I've been having those nightmares again. Oh, Victor, that's the last straw. You need to stop beating yourself up over this. It was an accident. There's nothing that you could have done. Hey, 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 what are you doing? I'm scheduling you an appointment to see Dr. Summons tomorrow. You need to move on and get over this. <laughs> Nothing. I didn't see anything. I'm scheduling you an appointment tomorrow. If you stay here, keep resting, and pick you up in the morning. Alright, sis. See you tomorrow. Well, sounds like you got a busy day tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Don't worry about it, man. It's not. I don't know. I've been seeing her more frequently. And not just in dreams anymore. I'm afraid, no. Afraid? Dude, listen to yourself. Like, terrorists. That's something to be afraid of. Babylon Beast. That's something legit to be afraid of. But, like, Eve? Eve is dead. I'm sorry, but Eve is dead. You need to see a doctor, dude. Or at least get some sleep. Sleep. Sleep is a luxury. I can't afford it. Oh my god, dude, will you listen to yourself? You're losing it. You need help. I hate to leave you like this, but you need some sleep, bro. Promise me. Promise me you're gonna get some sleep. Fine.
I try to keep away, but I just can't stop thinking about you. If you knew you couldn't keep away from me. This isn't real, this isn't real, this isn't real. Why don't you think I'm not real, Victor? Don't you miss me? Don't you want to hold me? Yeah, but you're dead, Eve. <laughs> dead? Victor, I'm as alive as ever. Yeah, I guess so. You know, Victor, I think you would take this more seriously. I am taking it serious. It doesn't mean I have to enjoy it, though. Well, it's something that has to be done, and I'm proud of you for doing this. Victor Clark? Yeah. Dr. Summons is ready to see you. Good morning, Mr. Clark. How are you this morning? Fine, I guess. Just fine? Yeah, just fine. The hell does it matter to you? I'm sorry, Doctor. Victor was a little reluctant on coming this morning. Yes, I remember you telling me a little of Victor's situation at home. Victor, why don't you tell me what's going on with you? I don't know. Nothing, I guess. Why don't you tell me a little bit about you and Eve? Are you two still together? Yeah, I guess. Just not in any way you would imagine. Is she still alive, Victor? No. No, she isn't. What happened? How did Eve die? Doctor, Victor has Mrs. a... Mrs. Clark, Victor can speak for himself. Go ahead, Victor. I remember it was the first warm day of spring. So I decided to wear shorts over jeans. I can't stand wearing jeans on a warm day. Since it was such a nice day, I suggested that we go to the park. She always loved going to the park and feeding the swans at the lake. We decided to go for a walk through the trails in the woods by the park. We were attacked. I was hit over the head while trying to fight this guy off. When I woke up, I couldn't see Eve. It wasn't until we made it to the hospital that they told me she was killed and robbed. The irony of it all is that we didn't have more than $20 between us that day. Just enough for ice cream and bread for the swans. They told me the robber didn't even take the ring I gave her for Christmas that year. Eve was killed by a petty thief for $20. And I could have saved her. Okay, I think we're done for today. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, before you go, could I have a word with you outside, Miss Clark? Of course. You can stay right here, Victor. It won't take a minute. So what's wrong with me, I'm very sorry to tell you this, but it's clear Victor is suffering from a very extreme case of schizophrenia. Oh my god, I didn't think I was going to get this bad. Look, the cut on his arm seems very suspicious. If I were you, I would suggest a suicide watch. Look, Victor is in a very, very gentle state right now. And he needs his sister now more than ever.
Victor. Victor. Dude, this isn't how you're supposed to fix this. Shut up, Nolan. I, she's calling to me, all right? I need to end this tonight. You, you're smarter than this. You can't see that you're falling right into her trap? I, I, I just thought of anyone. You would understand what's going on. Why me? Don't think that I've forgotten so soon either. I'm just in a better mood than she is. Yeah, I know. But you don't understand. I, I could have done something to save her. Well, you could have kept your goddamn mouth shut in the car, too. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I truly am. Could you ever forgive me? What the hell? I can't stay mad at you. Listen, you stay good. And get your damn head straight. And go get Eve. She's waiting for you. But it's me. Why did it have to be this way? I don't know. We loved each other too much. I loved you too much. So much. That even I couldn't give you up after I was forced to. Victor, I didn't want to do this to you. You have to understand. You have to learn to let me go. by everything. And if I gave you up, then I have nothing left. Thank you, Victor. Thank you for learning to let me go. I don't know how I can live without you. I understand now, though, that it's not my fault you died that day. And now I can truly learn to live and help those close around me. Then go. Go live your life. Victor! And Nicole, stand by her side. She'll always be by you. Victor! Victor! What are you doing in the park at 2 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> I don't know. Just taking a stroll, I guess. At 2 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, you're gonna have to get used to that if you're gonna be staying with me for a little while. <sighs> Alright, let's go, little bro. 